It's your boys Apple Professional Sages, and welcome back to SD Gundam G Generation Genesis Allergy Morning Syndrome. But I digress. It is time to spiel, spiel, spin the wheel of Gundam Gun Gundam. Choose your sea of destiny. Let's go. Time for Unicron. So, let us begin. Gundam Unicron. Day of the Unicron. We are in space. Okay. Let me double check, make sure that all of our units can go to space because we now have this gym cannon too. You are allowed space. Alright. But we also have some SFS over here, so that's good. No, that's what that is. Okay. We have one space sled. Which I don't really need. I'm going to put you on standby. Actually, no. Let's keep one of those. Of eight. Yes, nine. Okay. Now. そして星々の輝きの中で命を育む者がスペースノイドとなり得る時代広大な宇宙の中に文明の火を輝かす時代の到来であった今宵人類は旧世紀の神から契約更新の時を迎えるべく地球の低周回軌道上に置かれた首相
環境破壊による熱汚染今や後戻りの許されないこれらの問題を解決するには我々一人一人の意識改革が不可欠だったのですそして宇宙世紀トリプル O11 月1日惨劇かあるいは人が抱える種族の豪華新しい時代の幕開けとともにそれは起こった<音楽>ラプラス事件宇宙世紀開脚を血で汚した人類史上初の宇宙テロである。首相官邸ラプラスの幾何学的美学を誇っていた円環は無残にも瓦解し銀の輝きを失った無数の狂変は地球軌道上に飛散したそして事件を引き起こした犯行グループもテロ実行後作業艇もろとも原因不明の爆発を起こしラプラスと運命を共にするこれでこのテロ事件の真相は全てが葬り去られるはずだっただがその惨劇の舞台から一人生還を果たす者がいたサイアム・ビスト貧困により報酬目的でテロに参加した青年である彼は作業艇の爆発に飲まれるも奇跡的に命は取り留め爆風の力に押されるがままラプラスの残骸群へと流れ着くそこで青年はある物体と開口を果たすその偶然の連なりが後に彼と関わる多くの人生と宇宙世紀の歴史に長く暗い影を落とすこととも知らずに時は流れ宇宙世紀0096革命の熱が過ぎ去り定年の風が吹く空は星の光も冷たいジオン公国と地球連邦政府の戦争も終結して久しく地球圏は停滞という名の平穏に浸り始めていた頃箱の秘匿により映画を保ってきたビスト財団の当主カーディアス・ビストは財団の祝願を果たすため袖付きとあだなされる反政府組織と接触を図ろうとしていた時代は揺れ動く可能性の未来を求め抗うことを止めないい解放すれば地球連邦政府が転覆するとまで言われる宇宙世紀の近畿ラプラスの箱そのラプラスの箱とは何かそしてラプラスの箱が抱える秘密とは今宇宙世紀100年にわたる呪いを解くべく歴史の針は新たな時へ動き出そうとしていた I don't remember any of that backstory. Then again, I'll be honest, Unicorn was one of the ones I paid the least attention to. Well, then, you're going to proceed as planned. But this create, create chaos at an unforeseen scale. It's hard to believe it's been almost 100 years. If things go on like this, the Earth Sphere could be done for. Those who can correct the flaws of the universal century are beginning to emerge. Trusted to carry Laplace's box. Yes. Cardius, can you forgive me? Our actions could lead to a world's destruction. If anyone could give you forgiveness, it would have to be me. Indeed.
stage one. Unicorn no hit. Oh shit, the Gar series. My apologies, sir. It's my fault for not noticing she stowed away. No, it's not. It's Captain of the ship. I am the one to blame. Fortunately, we know where she's going. Get her back before she has a chance to make contact with Cardia's face. Try to stay under the radar. Yes, sir. Darren series entry gate number five. So, Laplace's box. So what are we going to do with it anyway? If it's there, we take it. If it's a trap, we fight a way out. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Could you get rid of the colony builders at the entrance? You mean the snail? I don't have much time. Please! That's not a lot to go on. There's someone I must speak with as soon as possible. That's why I must get to the colony builder at all costs. The snail. That's what everybody calls the colony builder, but it's all it is is a factory. Although it's rumored there's supposedly a Vist Foundation mansion hidden there somewhere. Have you been there? No, I've never seen it myself. One of their higher ups is the chairman of my school. If we don't act quickly, something terrible will happen. We must act immediately to stop it. Stop it? Stop what? A war. A, a, a war? Yes, exactly. I can't do it alone. The factory tour is about to begin. We can mix in with the crowd. And we can work out the rest of the tour inside. What's your name? Uh, sorry, I haven't even told you mine. My name's... Banaji. What? What? Your pet called out your name. Go, Banaji! Go, Banaji! Uh, yeah. So I'm Banaji Lynx. You are... My name's... Audrey. Audrey Byrne. Audrey, the series of horror. Do you remember them? Haro is happy. Haro. It's a replica of a robot mascot built by an ace pilot back during the war. It was really popular when we were kids. Haro. Audrey, happy. Haro. I wouldn't know what most kids liked. What do you mean? We were always on the move. I was brought up like a nomad. Yeah, it sounds a lot like me. Those people who were after you. What was up with them? They're my associates. I ran away. You're some kind of activist or something? You know, one of those anti-federation seeking independence for space lords or whatever? Kind of. Only scary. You said you wanted to stop a war, didn't you? Yeah. There's a delivery ramp just ahead. Come on, I'll show you the way. I'm just able to get a hold of the staff officer on Luna 2. I've confirmed a Lando Bell ship ran into the sleeves. So there was a leak. Is there anything else? I tried Londinia, but their commander isn't very forthcoming. That would be bright and yellow, I believe. Try the supply ships. That'll expose the fleet's movements. Yes, sir. Sir, we've got something on lift 2 surveillance camera. Uh, what is she doing there? I don't know, sir. We've seen report that someone snuck aboard from a dock ship, but I never would have imagined. 
Have you heard anything from the slaves? No, sir. Nothing. So she's acting on her own. This may interfere with the boxes delivered. I still believe that as head of this foundation, an in-person meeting with the slaves is advised. And what do you have on this boy she's with? Ah, oh, yes. They seem to be acting together. Though he looks a little young to be a bodyguard. Let's be prepared. Finish up the RX-0's operational testing. The testing OS must be completely deleted. Seal the NTD and boot up the Laplace program. Yes, sir. Forgive me, sir. That's it. I can't believe there's really a mansion out here. Maybe no one's home? Let's go inside, Audrey. But Audrey, you can't just... Excuse us, is anyone here? Silent. A chimera sort of thing. Hmm. I wonder. What could that imply? And the, the bottom center. There's a couple of birds there. What could that be? Sure, you can read all that? What? What is this? I remember this. I've seen this before. Caught your interest? The lady of the unicorn. It's a tapestry believed to have been created in France before the Middle Ages. And it's no ripple. My predecessor managed to acquire it before the One Year War. Who are you? I'm the head of the family, Claudius Mist. This is my house. <clears throat> I apologize for entering your home without permission. My name is... I'm aware of who you are. Perhaps it would be best if you didn't mention your name. Then we'll skip the formalities. As long as you grasp my position, that's all that matters. I've come here to ask you to rethink this course of action. I'm burned to your plan to hand over Laplace's box to us. Laplace's box? I think you had better leave. <sighs> it's too dangerous. You shouldn't be talking under these circumstances. Cinnamon is a rational man. He wouldn't want to cause any unnecessary trouble. Would you consider your protection unnecessary? Why are you doing this? I've heard that Laplace's box is guaranteed to prosper in this foundation for decades. Why give it to us now? Please rethink the consequences of what you're about to do. I understand your concern about this. I'm aware that full frontal is being hailed as the second coming of Shah Aslan, and it is not to be taken lightly. Then why? Because even if given the key, it will still take someone qualified to open Laplace's box. The key? To the box? We have taken steps to create something to ensure that this is no easy horse to break. So what exactly is the key? Excuse me. I believe you were asked to leave. But there are... There are people after her. I'm only for a loan. Do you have even the slightest idea of who they are and what they want with her? I don't, but they're scary people. Scary? 
Well, that's just how they felt. That's something the new type might see. She was the one who said they were scary. You're putting your future at risk by staying here. It's not what your father intended when he sent you to Anaheim Electronics Industrial College. How do you... I'm the chairman of your school. As such, I can find out anything I need to know about my students. Or even expel them as I see fit. Go home, Benazir. I appreciate all you've done for me thus far. I can take it from here. But Audrey, I can still help. You came here to prevent a war, didn't you? And he has the power to do something about it, right? You even talk about the war is so different from hearing my professors talk about it. It seems more grim. You made me realize how bad it could be. So please, let me... I don't care who you are. Just say that you need me. And I'll... Just, just tell me. I don't need you. Uh, uh, what? The best thing you can do is forget about me. But, Audrey... You've made the right decision. Now, kindly leave. Ugh. So you think she headed towards the colony builder? Makes sense, given that she's nowhere else to be found. We're going to be in trouble with the Federation Tsar. We must see how the Federation reacts before we do anything. Alright, return to the ship. The Foundation has sent a message saying that they want to move the meeting from the Central Port to the colony builder. So what did they say about her? They're fading ignorance. I can't tell what they're up to. But we'll keep a poker face for now. I need you to be ready for anything. Sir! Looks like they'll be quite troublesome. Huh? What is that? Particles are causing interference like crazy. What the hell? It's them! Londo Bell! Garen series! Enemy sighted! Londo Bell is about to surround the colony! Those bastards! Head of the Miss Foundation in person. I'm honored. We are entrusting you with the fate of the Foundation. I couldn't leave this to anyone else. So where's this box of yours? It's not the box, but the key. The key? So rather than give us the box itself, we get the key? Unsatisfied. Not unsatisfied, just confused. We don't know what the box is, or what it even does. But we do know that opening Laplace's box could lead to the Federation being overthrown. The Foundation's prosperity came from keeping it under wraps. We also know that your image is a non-profit, transports art into the colonies just up front. Truth. Your leaders acknowledge the value of the box, which is why they sent a man of your talent to receive it. 
As the situation stands, we can't afford not to grab any care that's taken before us. And if it turns out that the carrot has been poisoned, my superiors will be very disappointed. Tell me, Captain, do you believe in the existence of new types? You spend enough time on the battlefield, you encounter a sort of power not easily explained. Power. A word only those with personal experience would pick. As humanity expands into space, our late abilities will blossom so that we can adapt to the Greek more. And accept one another without misconceptions. That's the new type theory proposed by Zeon Dyke. He spoke of humanity's reform, of infinite possibility, of power itself. Since the one year war, the Federation has lived in fear of that unseen power. The power that denounces the privileged living on the earth. The power that calls all the abandoned space lords to awaken. The power that could overthrow the reign of the Federation government whose rule has lasted nearly 100 years. The Federation has been absorbed for decades now in the battle against this invisible power. Public research facilities were set up as fronts for laboratories of mad scientists focusing solely on the military applications of new types. Then came the Grips conflict and subsequently, both Neo-Zeon Wars. The ensuing pressure led to the rise of military factions, and the Federation itself suffered greatly. However, they had one powerful ally on their side. Do you know what it is I'm referring to? Would that be time? It is indeed. The public, impatient for results, be tired of new types which had no definition only possibility. The term new type became synonymous with ace pilots. A new definition completely removed from Zeon Zyker's idea of understanding without misconceptions. The Plosis bot told the power to change our future. Or, more to the point, it has the power to restore the future from what was meant to be. However, not everyone is able to wield this power. Be warned, this power, if misused, could destroy the world. So you're giving us this key as a starting test? If you are small-minded enough that you only focus on a single thing, the box will never reveal its contents to you. That single thing being... The Revival of Zeon. What? An explosion! It's on no go. The combat has already broken out inside the colony, sir. Has the military been informed? You see, we've caught in a trap. Not at all. I'd say you were followed here, but neither of us could prove that. We'll be taking her back now. I have every intention of returning her from the beginning. She's safe in my mansion. It's difficult for a person to trust in them nowadays. It's an unfortunate state of things. I feel the same way, Captain. Ugh, it's like I can't get through the marina. Lodos! They appear to be special forces, which means the command module is also a problem. It's a shame. Federation will break a one Hindu war alliance just to take everything away from us. Then again, we were the ones who sought to scrap it the first. Forgive me, sir. I should have been able to foresee their actions. Gale, do not let the Federation have we must erase the program ourselves, and then the unicorn. Yes, sir. You have to go ahead, sir. Gilboa, were you able to try contact the captain? Communication is cut out. Mouse can possibly get it denser. 
So they're going on the offense from that angle too. Completely surrounded. We need to find the captain. Roger that. Brave Jigen. Princess. been a while, father. Alberto, you did this. You have gained control of the command module. We will locate Laplace's box in no time. Uh, what? Want to know why I did this, father? Did Martha put you up to this? You're not using the military, they're using you. What matters is we both benefit from this arrangement. Isn't that how the Federation handles these sorts of things? How can you be so short-sighted? It's a bit too late for lectures. Just say place, all of us. Talk it. Take care of me, Khan. Where are you going? Uh, there's someone I have to rescue. Huh? Do you recognize that mobile suit that just smashed through? It looked like a Federation model. Then its mothership should be at the snail. You have to get there. They can protect you. Uh, Audrey, go on my way. Banasha, you can't leave me here! P please don't leave me! Banasha! Damn it! All's well and good saying we'll evacuate, but I have the first clue where to go from here! Alright, Audrey! Huh? <laughs> Civilian? This way! Isn't that a Federation? You guys, you're uninjured. We're seeing it's a Federation mobile suit. It's an RGZ-95. A, a Rezzle. You caught? You recognize it? Yeah, we can get them to help us. Audrey, where are you, Audrey?
明日の予定だって来週の予定だってあったんだ<笑>あんなの人の死に方じゃありませんよ少なくとも母さんは僕の母は違いましたもっと厳かだった少なくとも人は動物とは違う人の死は無目であってはならんなのに我々大人は無益な血を流しすぎたそればかりか地球を食いつぶし宇宙に吐け口を求めてきた今こそ人は自らを律し尊厳を取り戻さねば百地なる可能性を持って人の人たる力と優しさを世界に示す人間だけが神を持つ今を超える力可能性という内なる神をここまで来たその気持ちが揺らがぬ自信はあるか<笑>彼女が背負っているものは重いぞ共に行くにはこの世界の重みを受ける覚悟がいるそれでも自信とか覚悟なんてない俺は彼女に必要とされたいだけなんですならばこいつを持っていけお前をふさわしい乗り手と判断すればユニコーンは無二の力を与えるラプラスの箱への道も開くだろうラプラスの箱我らがビスト一族を100年にわたり縛り続けてきた呪縛だが使いようによってはこの宇宙世紀に光明をもたらすそれはあんなは<笑>この呪縛にお前を取り込ませたくないと。私の前から恨むだろうあんそしてお前もだが行け恐れるな自分の中の可能性を信じて力を尽くせば道はおのずと開けるまさら勝手ですよ許してほしいお前とはもっともっとバナージ私の望みは叶ったよあんな父さん Picked it up in a second. Princess, what is it? An enemy, a funnel. No, Mage.
to do something real quick. Put on a brace every now and again. Now it's just made control holding harder. Fortunately, it's not a. Uh oh, did I read that? That thing! You got a sacrifice throughout the whole body? Why so many people have to die for this completely obscure box? It's not how the world should work. Get out! Get the hell out of here! Stop Domitia! Okay, Menazer destroyed Merida. But, surely there's more to it. Oh, I'll add a beam saber, despite the visual say otherwise. Quest list. Age, the series, produce the norm. Sh produce the Shatria. Repair, okay. Add the Nahela Goba. Stage. I don't even know who that is. But unlock bright by adding all these bright men who were chosen by them. Just got missed. Uh, just a uh, just a cannon. Add the camouflage right now. I should have used. Silver bullet. Defeat full frontal for two turns. There we go. Oh shit, it's my jam. Oh, does it go to the breakdown? Oh, 
You tried. Suspicious number. I want to pass on purpose because of that. Great, great time. Ugh, such a reckless battle. I'll be able to face my master after this. Oh, okay. That's who you are. There's no doubt about it. That unidentified single horde trans type transform. No. Morphed. That is a gun gun. Gundam type! What's a Gundam? You probably recognize it. It's the first role suit developed by the Federation. You see, I used to call it the White Devil. Gundam. Attention, Bridge. Machine currently engaged in a sleeve quad wing appears to be a Gundam type. A Gundam? Attention unidentified machine. If you read us, respond. Identify yourself, your affiliation, and your combat objective. I repeat, identify yourself, your affiliation, and your combat objective. with a disgrace, Subaru and Zenerman. Not only did you fail to retrieve Laplace's box, you weren't even able to rescue the princess. None of these developments could have been predicted, but now we can only wait for the princess to contact us. Are you suggesting that we do nothing? I hear that Marina was best in the battle. By a gun of us. Intriguing, don't you think? I might need to go out there myself. Have the Gar the Garen series find the next Ugh. Have the Garen series find out the next the Federation's next move. Sir, I will rectify the suspects, even at the cost of my life. You mustn't let mistakes weigh you down. Acknowledge it and take what you've learned into the mind. That is the benefit of being an adult. Sir. A different one. Am I still the only one alive? Really, you got lucky. So why doesn't mean you're a coward any more than dying makes you brave. The only thing that separates life from death is luck. Yes, Commander Gar.
attention. Approaching vessel. Halt immediately. This is a Nahel Argonga. The Federation space is Londo Bell. Your vessel has crossed our ship's defensive perimeter. Those damn terrorists. Wait, really? Appears to be a derelict vessel, Salamis class. Our door was misdirected its backup power supply. Stand down alert. Return your station to call the normal suits immediately. Are you sure? Do you have a problem with that? So good it was misidentified debris. That's right. Luckily, it wasn't an enemy out there. But the enemy is always out there. You must assume by now that we've recovered the Plus box. They won't give up while that Quadwing mobile suit is operational. So now is not the time to sit and wait for backup. Precisely. Captain Otto, I would advise we leave this sector immediately. I have new information suggesting that a recovered gun was somehow connected to the Plus's box. I recommend heading for Luta, Luna 2 as soon as possible. But maybe the... I agree, Captain Otto. However, why would we go to Luna 2? I don't know. We should go to our own Anaheim Electronics outpost at Von Braun, on the moon. Luna 2 is on the far side of Earth. The moon is right next to us. That's exactly why I knew we'll head to head there. I think a detour course for Luna 2 is a wiser choice. Will our remaining forces last long enough for that route? Commander, you're being overly anxious. I'd be more anxious to be heading to the moon than go back up. It's bad enough to be on a mission spotting the corporate pressure on military command. The duty of a soldier, Commander to carry out orders. Don't blame me for your own failures. Heard enough. I know the Echoists can do as they please during operations, but I'll put no interference from them while on my ship. Same goes for that prima donna from Anaheim. Huh. Captain Otto, the derelict ship we encountered is decelerating. Now traveling at a rate of relative speed zero. Haunted by the ghosts of the one year war. Have the mobile suits eliminated. They can move something that size, no problem. They're back at the ship. What? They've returned already. Those were your orders, Captain. Would you like to send them back out? <sighs> Just blast it with the main guns. Bingo, that's that. We can run the enemy's position. What oh, kind of them in real location with us with gunfire? Transmit the coordinates to the Ramona. We'll see what they can do. Roger, Captain. So many voices! So that's a Gundam? That's what they're saying. It looks so different. Hey there. You doing all right? Uh, oh. I'm the Rizzo pilot that pulled you out. My name's Rudy Marcellus. I'm Audrey Byrne. Audrey, a pleasure to meet you. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, oh. That's it. You look like Nats May Swanson, the famous actress. You must get that a lot. 
I don't know much about the entertainment industry. You lie! Ah, I see. PNC. Huh? The Naho Army was the mothership that Gundam team, the first New Zealand world, right? And now it's carrying the new Gundam? It's like Destiny. Uh, yeah. Well, sets a lot, Captain. We need to sit back and observe. All sounds well and good. But will it go that smoothly? This has to be related to the plot box. Only so many secrets are important enough to send Echoes to retrieve them. The Federation can only mobilize so much in secrecy. I'm sure they're discussing how to handle this as we speak. With each responsible party to try their best to avoid responsibility. I hope you're right. They're here without backup, aren't they? Then I've no doubt. Perhaps. If they were that diligent to begin with, we would have wiped them out a long time ago. The human economy isn't so stable that it can operate efficiently in times of absolute peace. You mean to say the occasional terrorist incident would be preferable to mass unemployment? I'm saying this corrupt world needs to change so that community can survive the next hundred years. Catch will fight today. There's nothing for us to do. I understand why the story. You expect to believe that Cardi Smith just gave it to a boy. You're a civilian who hijacked a military mobile suit, then interfered in a combat situation. Both are crimes serious enough to warrant capital punishment. So did he say anything else when he gave me this Gundam? Like I said, he told me to take the mobile suit and protect everyone. That's all. Would you be easy to leave here my father? Your father. Scramble all units, turn about full speed! Uh, damage report, scan the area. No enemies detected. Look harder! We've fallen into a trap. Ugh. Look and see, this is what happens when you miss your time fooling around. Are these the same guys that attacked the colony? We can't take this anymore, it's too much! We, can't, we gotta go look for normal suits. The ship can get in the hull breach at any second. Anti air defenses, what are you doing? You can't get a good look. Forget the system, just shoot! Romero Squadron, I'll pilot small suit deck immediately. Good intensity, the suit you're supposed to high speed! Are they missiles? No, sir, just with their flight paths, I see they were mobile suits. But the way they're navigating the debris, it's impossible. The elite machine is approaching three times faster than the others. Get out of here! Head to the moon! We're at battle stations. I need you to calm down, sir. Calm down? Don't you know who that is? It's the Sinanju with the Red Comet! You'll never defeat him! What? Two years ago, an experimental mobile suit MSN 06 was sold by Neo Zeo while it was being transferred from Granada to a testing ground in Von Braun. The Federation forces that were set to get it back were completely wiped out. And they say the one responsible is Full Frontal, the second coming of Shar Aznable, the Red Comet. I've heard this story before. It goes to Shar, who's destroyed two Klops class ships with a single mobile suit. Shar went missing a second Neo Zeo war. He wasn't heard from again. Be that as it may, your men don't stand a chance in those mobile suits. Unicorn was built based on data collected from the Sinanju. We've got to get out of here now. 
right now will be attacked from behind. Catch the data in each section of the ship. Who this enemy is, it's no ghost. And four of the mobile suit teams, too. Idiots, you know I'm not! Get me, man, 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 man! It's the last time you'll speak to me like that. Ship's bound, trajectory set. Catapult hatches, one through four open. Mobile suits, get in the launch position. Roger, no vessel look. Romeo, zero, zero, one, moving out. Meeting my status, Romeo, zero, zero, eight, here I go. That was too, too high. Some other guy. Get fucked! Ugh. How could they? Control yourself, Ensign Ready. Stay in formation! Yes, sir! No way, that's the real Char. I'm not worried about that. It's units, not even me. Start the stage. Can you destroy full functional within three turns? Is that part of the quest? Uh, defeat him in two turns? Ah, but it doesn't say. The unicorn do it, it just says us. So freaking debris. I'll roll those bones. Yara said him around. I know I have the mans to do it. And then, this man, this myth. The legend of Mark Curry in the big dice. The Psycho's Cube. The Psychoto Gundam. Oh no. Oh no. That's all you guy.
that's happening. It's real. It's live. Level up. Instantly level 30. Instant level up. The Greg level. Historic moment. Yeah, here we go. Lieutenant Angelo, multiple hostiles. Should we cover the captain? Not at all. We just need to sit by and watch. We only get in the captain's way. Understood. They're still on the attack? At this rate, everyone will die. Attention, all attacking mobile suits. You are ordered to cease fire immediately. We are holding Maneva Zabi captain on board this ship. What? I repeat, we are holding the zombie air. Maneva Lao Zombie, captain aboard the ship. Ceasefire and what so we cannot guarantee her safety. Hold on, she, she's the Princess of Xeon? We are prepared to negotiate. Make the right decision. I have received the image. I'm Captain Full Frontal of Neo Zeal. Tell me, what are your demands? That's Shar's voice. This is Commander Dazga Mackel of Federation Space Vessel Forces Operations Group, Echoes. We ask that you cease attacking and withdraw right away. Do so, we can guarantee the safety of the naval Laosami. Can't we just have her back? Let's take one thing at a time. If you allow us passenger, we can discuss that once we have arrived at a safe location. So you're holding her as your hostage. You realize that we have no evidence that girl is the real princess. That's quite cautious for just so-called red comet anymore. By your definition, we're nothing but terrorists. Since we're not part of your military, we cannot expect to be protected by international law. So some caution is to be expected. We have the highest regard for human rights. It's quite a statement coming from people who send special forces to civilian colonies. And are we as and as we speak, using hostages as shields. Now it's our turn that makes some demands. I would like you to hand over all the materials you collected from Industrial 7 and all data pertaining to Laplace's box. What? And in exchange, we assure you safe passage, unless you object to the terms. I have no objection, however, we will be unable to comply because we never obtained Laplace's box. But you did retrieve a Gundam type mobile suit, did you not? That's a Federation asset of no relation to Laplace's box. If you refuse our demands, we will destroy your ship. You would do that with a prisoner on board? So her identity is unverified. She is irrelevant. We will not respond to negations based on uncertainties. You have three minutes. I trust you'll make a sensible decision. He's bluffing. We wouldn't forsake the Guiding Star of Zeon. I wouldn't be so sure. If Fonto is in fact Sharazimold, he would be the son of Zeon Daiku. That means he holds his Zombie family responsible for his father's death. Why would he care about me? Interesting you should say that. There's no doubt in my mind that you are the princess. Bet that many sleeves out there remain true to the zombies. If you believe that, then continue use these then, con then continue these useless negotiations. However, the soldiers of Zeon don't play as nicely as you do. If you're a Zeon soldier, 
Oh, you'd be thinking about having to destroy anything related to Laplace's box. Sh she's right. We should destroy the unicorn's electronics while we can. That thing is the key, not the actual box. If we destroy it, then the safety of the box will... Let's put the result of Federation soldier to the test. Commander Dog is a mackle. If you have the courage to destroy the key and kill me. Losing both the key and myself will undoubtedly deal severe blow to Neo Zeon. Otherwise, continue to wait for them to storm in and take it from you. There's no time for indecision. Audrey, stop talking like that! You're only making it harder for everyone. And yourself. But Audrey... Let's just go, Audrey. This isn't something you should be involved in. My name is Beneva Zabi. No, you're Audrey. I don't care what your name is. To me, you're Audrey Byrne. Enough. Children shouldn't get involved in adult matters. If I'm such a child, then what about her? This girl's a princess of Neo Zeon. If I'm a child, then she's a child too. Is this how adults behave? Taking children hostage? Time's up. What is your decision? Understood. Then we shall destroy your vessel. Here it comes. Ready our defenses. Mobile suits prepare to intercept. It's just some box. Why can't you hand it over to them? I don't know what the box is. What does someone even have to be able to die for it? Could you take responsibility for it? But we don't know the secrets hidden in Plaza's box. Some say it could overthrow the Federation. What if we were to turn over the box, only to cause even more people to lose their lives? Could explain to those families why their loved ones died? Ugh, I get it. Get it already. We just take down that red mobile suit, and you won't need Audrey as a hostage anymore, right? I'll do it. Good idea. Quickly deploy the unicorn, Captain Otto. What do you say? It's out of the question. This is a compromise that can work for everyone. Unicorn's performance is unmatched. Even a pilot with no training can buy us enough time to get to safety. You're practically giving the box to them. But it's the only key! The key is broken now, the box will never open, and the Federation Tensors will be protected. That boy will keep fighting until the Unicorn is destroyed. Captain, the Gundam is on Cannibal 1. <sighs> Flight control, I'm entering combat. But Azure, don't do this. What are you doing? Don't let it launch! Gundam pilot, you are not cleared for launch. Return to Hangar Bay immediately. It's okay. I can do this. You can hear me, can't you, Bonanzer? You already know how to initiate the system, don't you? Yes. That pilot serves as a medical substance designed to resist the strain of G-forces on the body. Once the NTD is activated, it should kick in automatically. NTD. The mode in which unicorn's limiters are disengaged. You've handled it once already. You, you should be fine. I understand. He barely greased him, but he was annihilated. Doesn't matter how powerful they are if you can't hit me. Sir. I fired. I disgraced the captain's battlefield. <laughs> Nice. This is it. Gundam! Ha, ah, so we battled again, Gundam. Yui! Yui! Ah. Gira Duga. Right. 
your get is not active. Where is this? Rizzo Commander, regular Rizzo. Oh, well, we can see your animation. Oops. That was not according to Kikaku. Start with making sure we don't overkill. That's not enough, especially consider.
Oh, hold on. I don't want to hit him too hard. That defeats the purpose of the play. See it come. できる最善の方法を取るつもりだ踏み込みすぎなんだよもらった補足されたか Barely got that kill ready Big guns. Ow. Rude. That's too much high power. Too much high power, that's not for you. So like some you.
see if we can't give full frontal the bonk. I know you will survive. No red comet kick? Wasted time for a lot of silly shit. Oh, 
Mars or anything. My boat can take a hit. I don't know about the rest of y'all. But unfortunately, it looks like my time and effort were wasted. I have a plan. I have a small plan. It's a new type. So, it's a new type. やる気は There we go. It appears I must depart this battlefield for now. That's fine. I have a plan. This will be corrected shortly. Or on a small replay. Small replay. I'll just have him kill the UE. I got an item. Uh, reduced damage from a speed reduction. We're doing that, that, that thing. Excellent. That's enough time wasted. I thank y'all for watching. And as always, Sig Zeal.